What's up guys? Welcome to the first episode of my new effects breakdown series where I will always break down three effects for you. Make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'll try to bring an episode every week. In this episode we are going over these three effects. You don't need any plugins for these effects. And for today's episode we have a bonus effect at the end. Okay let's start with the disappear effect. For this effect we need to separate the object from the background. So select the Roto Brush tool and double click your layer. Now Roto Brush your object. Make sure that the you make a good Roto Mask on the first frame and press play. When the Roto Mask is good duplicate your layer and click on Freeze. Then double click your upper layer and check switch foreground background at the Roto brush settings. Then click freeze again. This video is sponsored by my preset pack so make sure to check out my shop. Now we have one background layer and one foreground layer. The next step is to fill the empty space in the background layer. For this go to window and click on content aware fill. Then click Generate Fill Layer while your background layer is selected. Then it should look like this. Now drag the object over the fill layer. We are nearly done. Click T to open the opacity. Then click on the stopwatch to set a keyframe. Then go a few frames forward and bring the opacity to zero. Go some frames forward and set another keyframe. Then go to the end of the clip and bring the opacity back to 100. For more smoothness select all keyframes and easy ease them. Now we are done. The next effect is the face slide effect. For this effect we need to double click our clip and rotoscope the face. Then duplicate your layer and click on freeze. Once again double click the upper layer click switch foreground background and freeze the clip. Now we separated the face from the rest of the clip. Next look for the offset effect and drag it on the face layer. Go a few frames forward and set a keyframe for the center. Then go to the end of the clip and drag the center point to the side until the face is on the right spot again. When you are done press U to open the keyframes and easy ease them. This looks good already but for more smoothness I will change the curves graph a bit. Open the Curves Graph Copy My Graph. Now we are done and it looks like this. Ok, the third effect is the Teleport effect. The first steps are the same as for the Disappear effect so I will explain them faster. Rotoscope your object. Then duplicate it before clicking on freeze. After freezing double click your upper layer and click switch foreground background. Then freeze it. Now we have one background and one foreground layer. Fill the background by generating a fill layer. Now we have our filled background and we can start with the teleportations. 
make sure that the object layer is above the background layer. If your object isn't masked perfectly, you can add refined soft matte and the edges get softer. Okay, now we can start moving our object around. For this, go to the start of your clip. Open your transformation setting and click the stopwatch for position and scale to set keyframes. Then just go some frames forward and play around with the scale and position. Repeat this until you're at the end of the clip and click reset. Now easy ease your keyframes and activate motion blur. Then select the keyframes and open the graph editor. Now just copy my graph. Now it looks like this. If there is an empty space just correct that frame. For today's episode we have a bonus effect at the end. This is the light sweep effect. For this effect, duplicate your layer and rotoscope your target. In my case, it's the 23. When you are done, click on Freeze. Then look for the CC Light Sweep effect in your effects library. Drag the light sweep on your roto layer. Now go to the start of your clip and click on center on the light sweep settings. Move the center around to see how the light sweep looks. You can change the direction if you want to. Then just put the center where you want the light sweep to start and click on the center stopwatch to set a keyframe. Now go to the end of the clip and move the center to where you want the light sweep to end. Now we are done. These are the results of today's video. Comment what effects I should do next and make sure to like the video if you want to see more of this content and make sure to check out my other tutorials. Thank you for watching and see you next time.